we have learned how to set up a custom logging configuration in Airflow, now it's time to see how to store and read logs on AWS S3. Before moving forward, let me remind you what is an AWS S3 bucket. A S3 bucket is a public cloud storage resource. A bucket is used to store objects which consist of data and metadata that describes the data. You can think of it as a hard drive on the cloud. That being said, let's move forward. At this point, I assume that you already have an AWS account, so if not, please take your time to create one and come back when you are done. Ok, by default, Airflow stores its log files locally without corporation. If you are running a lot of jobs or even a small number of jobs frequently, disk space can get eaten up pretty fast. Storing logs on S3 not only elevates you from disk maintenance considerations, the durability of these files will be better guaranteed with AWS S3 versus what most disk manufacturers and file systems can offer. Alright, time to go to the AWS console. Once you are connected to your account, the first step is to create the S3 bucket where the logs of Airflow will be stored. Click on Services, type S3, and select the first choice. Now click on Create Bucket. From there, we have to configure a bucket. The name here should be unique. In my case, I'm gonna type markl airflow logs. Notice that you have to set your own name, don't use the same as mine, it won't work. Ok, select the closest region to your bucket. For me, it's Paris. Click on Next. Here we don't have to change anything. Next. Since we don't want to allow public access to the bucket, we keep the box checked here. Ok, everything is good, we can click on Create Bucket and the new bucket has been created here. Perfect, if you click on it, you can see that for now it is empty. After having created the bucket to store the logs, we are going to create a new user with only the permission to read and write to that bucket. Indeed, it is a best practice to do this to avoid potential security issues. So click on Services, type IAM, and select the service. Then click on Users and Add User. We need to define a username, let's say airflow-log-s3. We select Programmatic Access, since we will need an access key ID and a secret access key in order to create the connection to AWS S3 from Airflow. Click on Next. Select Attach Existing Policies directly and click on Create Policy. Here we are going to create a policy to only give the read and write permissions for the bucket we created previously. Select Choose a Service and select S3. Then in Actions, Under Access Level and List, choose List Bucket, in Read Choose Get Object. In Write, select Put Object. Delete Object. Replicate Object. And Restore Object. Now the actions are set. In Resources, click on the Warnings. From there, we have to specify the resources that the user is allowed to interact with. First, we restrict the access to only the bucket we created by clicking on Add ARN. Here, type the name you defined for the bucket, which is in my case mockl airflow logs. Check that you didn't make any mistakes and click on Add. OK, we do the same for the objects. Type the same bucket name, markl airflow logs in my case.
and select any for the object name. Click on Add. Perfect, we can review the policy. We need to give a name to the policy, so let's say read write F3 airflow logs. And finally, click on create policy. Okay, back to the user view. Refresh the policies by clicking here and select read write S3 airflow logs. Click on next, next again, and create user. Perfect, the user has been well created. Here, we got the access key ID and secret access key that we're gonna use in Airflow to connect to S3. So download the credentials right now as you will not be able to see this page again and save them somewhere safe. Click on close. And so we are done with AWS. Let's go to Airflow. In your terminal, check that you are under the folder airflow-materials slash airflow-section-8 and start the Docker containers with start.sh. As you can see, Docker is building a new Docker image of Airflow. Why? Because in order to store your logs into AWS S3, you have to add the package S3 along with the install of Airflow. To be more concrete, go to your code editor, check that you are under the folder airflow-materials slash airflow-section-8 and open the docker file in the folder docker. Here, you have the different commands to set up the docker container running Airflow. If you take a look at the line where Airflow is installed with pip, you can see here the package S3 as well as the other usual packages such as Crypto, Celery, Postgres and so on. So if you want to access S3 with Airflow, this package must be installed. Alright, back to the terminal. I'm gonna pause the video right now and I will come back when the build is done. Ok, the build is done, Airflow should be running, let's type docker ps. And the containers are running as expected, perfect. Now in your web browser. Open a new tab and type localhost colon 8080. Enter. From the Airflow UI, click on Admin, Connection, and Create. Here, we are going to set up the connection we need to access the S3 bucket from Airflow. Let's type AWS S3 log storage for the name. Then select S3 as connection type. Finally, in the extra field, tap the following JSON value. Notice that for each access key, you should input your credentials from the CSV file you downloaded earlier. Like that. OK, click on Create. Perfect, the connection has been successfully created. Now from your code editor, open the file airflow.cfg. In order to use an external storage for your logs, three parameters must be defined. Remote underscore logging, remote underscore log underscore con underscore id, and remote underscore base underscore log underscore folder. Let's start by the first one. Remote underscore logging when set to true allows Airflow to write and read logs from a remote location. So change its value from false to true. Then, remote underscore log underscore con underscore id corresponds to the connection we just created to connect to AWS S3. So here, we have to put the connection id AWS S3 log storage.
finally, remote underscore base underscore log underscore folder indicates the folder where the logs are going to be stored and read from your remote storage. So type S3 colon slash slash your bucket name, which is markl airflow logs in my case. and the folder where we want to save the logs, which is slash airflow dash logs. At the end, you should have the same line as mine, except for the name of the bucket, where you have to put your own. OK, save the file. Now if you go back to the AWS F3 dashboard, You should find your bucket here, and if you click on it, it should still be empty. Alright, it's time to see if everything works as expected. From your terminal, execute the command restart.sh so that the modifications we made are applied. OK, type docker ps, enter, great, now we type docker logs dash f with the container id of the worker where tasks of DAGs are going to be executed. Enter. So the purpose of this command is to show you the connections that will be made to your AWS S3 bucket by Airflow in order to read and write the logs. So in your web browser, go to the Airflow UI and click on DAGs. From there, turn on the toggle of the DAG logger underscore DAG to schedule it and wait for the DAG run to finish. This DAG has only two tasks, T1 doing nothing and T2 printing out a message to the standard output. Alright, the DAG run is finished, click on the DAG, then grab view, let's click on T1 and view log. From there, pay attention to the first line here, indicating that the current logs you are reading have been fetched remotely from the following file stored in your S3 bucket. Indeed, if you go back to the S3 dashboard and click on this icon to refresh the bucket, you can see a new folder called airflow-logs. If you click on it, you obtain another folder with the name of the DAG, logger underscore DAG, then go in it, and you have one folder for each task, click on T1, the last date, and one dot log. Open, and it corresponds to the logs displayed from the Airflow UI. Well done! You are now able to store and read the logs produced by Airflow in AWS S3. Before moving forward, go back to your terminal and execute the script stop.sh. Finally, in your code editor, Remove the values of the variables remote underscore log underscore con underscore id and remote underscore base underscore log underscore folder. Then set the value of remote underscore logging to false. Save the file. And we are done. Perfect, let's take a quick break and see you for the next video.